welcome to my day ticket diary. As the name suggests, we're going to sort of be following me along on any day tickets I'm fishing on a monthly basis. Um, we're currently just out of lockdown where uh, nights are now allowed again. So we're really excited to actually spend a couple of nights on the bank. Um, it's my first proper session since that. Did a few days over the winter, but yeah, first proper session of the year of 2021. So yeah, really excited. And this weekend we're at Fort Lee Fishery. So really well stocked lake, always a good chance for a bite. So they've got a Facebook page group and I've been following that. And there's been a few fish coming out, not, not the big hits that this place can have, but definitely fish being caught. Um, not over a lot of bait or anything, which is worth noting. Spoke to the, the bay lifts as well. So to start with, definitely won't be going heavy with the bait. I haven't got any rods out yet. Um, just stuck the, the sticks in the ground. I'm in peg 49 and I did speak to the guy that was in 51, so a couple up. And uh, yeah, he had 11 fish, I think. So he had a good hit. And I think the lad in here had a good hit as well with a couple this morning and with a few mates. So we did a little draw this morning um, and I had second, so I chose to swim second. But yeah, get, gonna get all the kit off the barrow, get set up, and then we'll catch up and sort of explain what I'm doing. Fingers crossed, we're in with a, couple, with a shout of a couple of fish. Right, camp is set. So we're all set up for the weekend. A um, couple of rods went out there first. One rod's just a solid bag. Little bait works, pink scent from heaven, so that one. Two and a half ounce lead in line. Nice sort of little package there then. One by tactics really. And left rod is just a, a waft of all on its own. Fishing sort of around 100 yards, just under. Um, anyone who's, who doesn't know the lake, there's a really well-known sort of bar out in the middle, um, gravel bar that comes right up. So sort of before it, you've got 20, 22 foot of water, and then it shelves right up to four or five foot. Um, as you can imagine, especially this time of year, the water's still really cold. You know, stick your hands in the margin. It's still cold water, but with the sun's out today and you know, with that shallow water, it's gonna warm up nice and quick. So it's obvious why the fish are out there. Um, I've seen a few show out there as well. Um, and my mate, who's a couple of couple of swims, swims up. He's fishing the same sort of area, and he's had one already as well. So, good sign. Hopefully, we can get amongst a couple. It's a two rod limit on here, and um, I've got a third one set up just just with a bag, it's, you know, same setup, which I can always have them ready to go. So I'll clip it up ready, and if I do get on a little shoal of fish, at least then I can you know, just bang it out there nice and quick again. Um, it is busy, pretty much every swim's taken, I believe. They have, I know they shut off quite a few swims to, to allow for sort of restrictions, you know, any that are too close together. And it is, um, at the moment, the lake is booking only. So you, you know, you ring up before you come and, and book your swim, which has positive and negatives. But I think that the positive side of it is the current climate is, lakes are really busy. So at least when you turn up, you know, you've got to swim. So I like that side of it. The negative is, you know, if you're not quite on the fish or the bulk of the fish, you don't have much opportunity to move, but the lake would be that busy that I don't think you would anyway, especially on a weekend. Um, and like I said, there's a lot of fish in here, so most people have a chance for a bite, I would say. Um, but yeah, you know, it's nice. It, it sort of, you can turn up, you've got your plot and you know you're, you're set for the weekend, so. So with the bag rod, I am gonna sort of cast probably every two, three hours. Um, I'm about to recast it again now. It's been a couple of hours since I got here. Give that a rechuck and yeah, hopefully something happens. Right, little update. Um, been a slow day for me. We're getting on to sort of, yeah, half five now. So it's getting on into the evening. Um, and they've been showing, they're definitely um, a little bit active, but unfortunately for me, sort of just to the right of my spot, sort of I say, I don't know, a good, a couple of swims up really and just to prove it a mate of mine he's had three now so he's two swims up from me um so yeah they're just off me i need them to move up a bit and hopefully um yeah they get in front of me basically um i'm not seeing like the guys opposite they're fishing even further down the lake i'm not seeing them sort of hook into anything so yeah i've been chopping and changing i uh, tried a couple of different colors to try yellow sent from heaven earlier also um tried 
a couple of different wafters and then went to a pop-up as well. So a yellow pop-up, so, I mean, sort of only just popped up off the bottom, but just because there is a bit of siltweed out there as I'm bringing it in, there's a bit sort of on the hook. But yeah, I think they're just not quite in front of me yet, but fingers crossed they sort of move over either this evening or tonight and we get amongst them. Well, it's just talking about hasn't been happening and the bag rod has tore off. Oh, there's the net. I'm just about to get him in here. I had a bit of calamity going into Joe's rod next door, but he's in. Happy days. Nice one. I was on the yellow. But yeah, I was kind of feeling a little bit down in the dumps thinking, is it going to happen? I was a bit sort of worried. I mean, I've got plenty of time left, but we got him in. And we got ourselves a lovely little mirror. I haven't weighed him yet, but he's probably up a double. There we go. Sweet. Off the mark. It's always such a relief to get off the mark. And uh, it's been a long, cold winter. We've all been cooped up inside. It's just yeah, wicked to be out on the bank. And we've still got a couple of nights. Hopefully, this is uh, the start of things to come. <sighs> what a relief. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say I was getting sort of worried, but I was getting itchy feet, you know, as I know the guy in here before would call and obviously a couple of mates have had some as well. So yeah, I was getting a bit itchy feet. I was sort of ringing the changes and then um, may have worked, may not, but I did change to yellow and that's what done the bite. So um, both rods are actually on bags now as well. So uh, I think for tonight, I'm probably going to stick with both on bags. Obviously, I know that now works. I've caught on those before here as well. Like previously, on previous sessions here, um, I always had sort of one on a bag and then one either on a pop-up or on the bottom or what have you. And the bag always outperforms it, so why not just stick both on bags? Fingers crossed it's a sign of things to come. The wind's, I mean, the wind's been sort of all over the place all day, but it's now coming sort of from left to right. But yeah, weirdly, I've seen fish showing sort of more into my swim and that, that bite was on the right-hand rod, so further to where they were. So hopefully, yeah, they're moving down. Fingers crossed. It's looking good, weather's bang on, nice and overcast now. Pretty mild as well, it's been freezing in the week, sort of, you know, below freezing at night. I don't think it's going to be tonight, so that's nice, but yeah. Um, it's getting on now, get some grub on the go and get the rods ready for the night and settle down. Excuse the blurry eyes, but it's 1am and I'm managing another one. 18 pound something. <laughs> um, but yeah, nice, another nice little mirror. Right and rod, solid bag. Absolutely rolled off. There's another fish. Happy days. Well, it's just gone 4 a.m. and since that last fish I showed, I haven't been asleep yet. <laughs> um, I had one hour or so ago. Um, I didn't get out for filming, it was about 16, 15, 16 pound mid double. So sort of quick shot on the mat. 
Um, didn't bother sort of yeah, getting it out properly like this. Um, but I've got a nice little uh, common now, which I thought I'd show you because I know um, I think the majority of fish in here are mirrors. So I'll slowly getting bigger. This one, which is over 19 pound. Here is all right hand rod again. It's all been on the right hand. Um, solid bag. But yeah, it's perfect condition. Yeah, lovely fish. Uh, I might get some sleep, but we shall see. <laughs> um, yeah, they've, they've been showing out there, but again, I'm to my right. But I get this rod back out. I've only got one rod out at the moment, so keen to slip this one back and hopefully we can get amongst a couple of bigger fish. But I'm not complaining, always happy just to catch, you know. Lovely. morning I say morning last time I saw you it was the morning <laughs> but it was dark then so a couple of hours of sleep um, it's now about half six and the right hand rod has gone off again again not a monster but a nice little scaly one little starboard scales on his wrist lovely just need to find the bigger ones now but I just spoke to the bailiff and um, she said that a lot of the smaller ones seem to be coming out. Started off with all the bigger ones typically, but it seems a lot of the smaller ones are coming out now, but at least we're having action. Well, we're in again. Whew. And one finally on the left hand rod. So this was on um, <coughs> it's a single pop up, sent from heaven, yellow uh, pop up. Cast the same range basically, but yeah, just all on his own. As I said, I did have two bags on yesterday, and then because um, in the night I had all that carnage going on, I just whacked this one back out. Um, and to be honest, it was an absolute nightmare getting him in. He went around the other line and sort of wrapped all around it and then went in a ball of weed. So it took uh, me and a, my, my friend next door was sort of holding the rod while I was trying to play it in. It wasn't easy. I'll right, give him a quick way. Still not quite over that 20 pound mark, but a tiny bit bigger. He's 19 pound eight. Nice fish though, another lovely mirror. Yeah, he put up a good battle, that's for sure. There he is. Mega. I was going to put both on bags again, but I think I'll stick, I might stick with this one with just a single pop-up. It may pick off a better fish, who knows, but yeah, turned into a really good session already and we've still got obviously most of today and um, tonight and then we've got to be gone early in the morning, but yeah, so far, so good.
Well, as you just seen, absolute ripped off again. And it's the uh, left iron rod again. It was all right iron rod last night, but the uh, single popper out there is doing it today. goes sweet another one in the net boom well the fish the fish is in the net the first fish and i literally unhooked it in the net whacked it back out and pff, two minutes later it's rattled off again and we're into another one So it's last second, yes, trick, good skills. Thanks, mate. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, wow, a bit of carnage. Like I say, I've now got no rods in the water, so <laughs> deal with these and get them back out. That's the first one. Yeah, nice little mirror. And the, uh, the pop-ups doing the do today rather than the bags, but yeah, definitely not complaining. Right, let's get the other one out. We'll quickly show you that one. All right, here's number two, and he's definitely the prettier of the two. Slightly bigger as well, I'd say, probably upper double. But yeah, lovely fish. Nice sort of scale pattern and all that. Awesome. Right, let's get this one back and get both of his rods back out. Right, well, I haven't checked in for a little while, and to be honest with you, I've had a little nap. <laughs> had a little hour sort of nap, I was exhausted, but um, the rods are back out there, bang on the spot, but a bit of lull in the action, so I've sort of brought them in. Um, I reeled in completely, I did just sort of pop around to the van, a few supplies, a bit of milk, or what have you, and I thought while the rigs are in, I will talk through the pop up rig I've been, uh, I've had a few on obviously today. I say pop it rig, it's actually, um, can be used for anything, which is one of the main reasons I really like it. Really versatile rig. Um, you can use it with pop-ups, wafters, bottom baits. Choice is yours, really. When it's uh, being used with a pop-up, it kind of sits similar to like a spin over on your rig, you know, so it's that low sort of pop-up, which everyone seems to like nowadays. Um, anyway, yeah, in its entirety, uh, other, other the base is the, the leg core, so sort of three foot of leg core. Uh, that goes down just to a leg clip, four ounce distance lead, and then the actual rig. The boom section is nine to 10 inches of a fluorocarbon. And then that's, um, so it's like a multi-combi rig. So the, the, the soft braid end is the Viper 3S braid. So that gives it the hinge, you know, the movement, um, but a nice stiff boom to sort of kick it away. So it kind of resets itself as well, which is nice. And then the multi part of it with a soft braid it's just a loop sort of tying onto the end of the hook. Bit of silicone over that eye to sort of hold everything into place, stop it all slipping. Um, and the beauty of that is you can just change the hook so easily. So uh, with the bag rigs, for example, I've, I've used probably seven or eight on this session. Um, a couple of blunted on the way in and stuff. Um, you know, you've got to put a whole new rig on. They're not hard rigs to tie, but with this, you literally just replace the hook. And that boom and the braid section will last a couple of seasons. Um, so yeah, really nice rig. Size, I've got size, four hook, no, size six hook, sorry, on there, curve sort of style, and then a 15 mil uh, Baitworks sent from heaven pop-up in yellow. And that's what's done all the bites in the bags. They've been wafters, same yellow, uh, little dumbbells. And then on this one, it's been the, the little pop-up. So that's what's done a few bites today. And hopefully it continues through the evening and through the night, and we can get amongst some of the bigger ones.
All right, well, I just um, sat down and tucked into the classic chips, beans and cheese, and they do sort of food on site, so, and um, they deliver to your swim as well, so it's great. So thanks to the team at Fort Lee, much appreciated. Um, but my mate Ad, who's down the end in swim 52, he'd had nothing uh, since we got here, nothing at all. I was obviously feeling a bit down in the dumps about it. And uh, he just nicked one out and it was 29 pounds, a new PB for him as well. So good sign that the, the bigger fish are out there and feeding. Um, it's gone a bit quiet, sort of down my end really. It was showing again as well, sort of a repeat, a repeat of yesterday. They're showing, they are showing out there, but more to my right. So fingers crossed they moved down again. We, uh, we get in amongst them. At the moment, um, solid bags are off. Just, I've got sort of hacking wind coming in. It's really a bit of a cold wind as well. I think it's a northeasterly. You can't get much colder. Um, and it's, it's just affecting accuracy too much and struggling to hit the distance really. So bags are off at the moment. I've just got both of the, that rig with the pop-ups on, on both rods. Um, I can hit the distance and sort of more accurately with, it, accurately with those. So. See how it goes with them. If it does settle down, quite often it does, the wind does die down in the evenings. If it does, then the bag will definitely be going back out there because it did the goods last night. So, yeah, keep an eye on it and get settled for the night pretty much. Right, wow, it's been been a quiet afternoon, as I said earlier. Um, and Trig next, well, two swims up, he just had a fish on pink. And I've been using yellow pop-up, so I thought, right, I'll put a pink on. Pink sent from how probably 10 minutes it was out there. And it's absolutely streamed off. So I think um, ringing the changes and regular cast could be the one on here. But that's good to be having one again. Going around the island. Get a bit of side strain trying to get him back round. I don't think he's very big, but it's the first time I've actually been out with um, using these Akuma 8K reels. I've been using like the T Rexes for the last probably year or so. Um, I brought these along obviously because I knew it'd be a bit of casting involved. And yeah, the line lay, line lay on them is just awesome, the way the line comes off when you're casting. But also, when you need to give them some as well, the sort of cranking power is really good. But yeah, impressed. It's nice to christen them. Oh. Might be one of the biggest ones. Maybe not. Ah, oh, nice. As I said before, that did not take long at all. So uh, it was either a change of colour that did it, or um, could have just been, you know, it landed a bit better. There is a bit of weed out of there, so something like silk weed, but all it takes is obviously one cast to land a bit iffy. And you don't get a take, but he certainly wanted that one. Oh, just weighed him, just over 18 pounds, 18, four, 18, six, somewhere around there. But it's another fish in the bank, and uh, especially after a slow afternoon, it's very welcome. There we go. Sweet. Still not in the 20s club. 
but yeah nine fish now one more to make it double figures would be nice especially if we're not going to hit that 20s club but yeah 20 would be nice next be a good way to sort of cap it all off lovely jubbly wicked All right, rods are out for the night. The wind's died down a bit, sort of on dusk, so right and rod, got a solid bag back out there. And left hand rods on that pop-up, um, sent from Hal Orange this time. Change it up a little bit. I've seen a lot less shows though this evening, which is a little bit concerning, but doesn't mean that the old fish might get his head down. There's been a lot of spawning activity going on on the far bank. So it'll be interesting to see if that actually pays off I haven't put any bait out, so just singles and bags the whole time. So yeah, hopefully something out there finds my little baits. Very quiet night in the end. Um, as you can guess, nothing for me at all. I did, um, I fell asleep quite early because obviously I was just shattered. <laughs> and then um, I woke up at two in the morning because uh, my mate trade a couple of swims up and had a uh, 24 pound common. So it was, yeah, lovely, nice clean common. Um, and I was awake then, so it was calm. So um, yeah, recast the bag rod and the left hand rod. Just got a nice solid drop on both. And just, yeah, I wanted to get them sort of bang on because I'm surprised that I obviously had nothing by then the night before I'd had a couple at that point so yeah I was kind of sitting in anticipation fell back asleep about half three and yeah woke up first light at half six a little bit disappointed but not complaining obviously I still got a bit of time yet it's about half seven now and we've got to be gone by nine so got a little bit of time um but it was a cold one as well you know there was frost all over the the mat that was at the back of the swim and the wasteling and stuff yeah, it's a cold one uh, wind sort of coming into our face, but it's quite calm this morning. Sun's out, so hopefully just this morning they get up on that bar and we get another chance. So um, it would be nice to get obviously amongst a couple of the bigger fish, but yeah, like I say, it was just nice having action. It was yeah, a bit of an enjoyable session. Shame the sort of second half was a bit slower, but it's just the way it goes, you know. I think I capitalised on the most I could when they were on me, so you know, getting the rods out as quick as you can, etc. But yeah, that's no, been really good. So. Get, um, I get slowly packed up now and hopefully we, uh, yeah, we nab one in the next couple of hours. Alright, that's it. Everything's pretty much packed away. Rods are still out there, so still a chance, but it's about half eight, so we'll be gone sort of next 15 minutes, so rods will have to come in. Shame that the second half was a bit slower, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the results, you know. Nine fish, I think quite uh, hit the double figures and didn't quite get into the bigger ones but so it goes you can't choose which one picture up bait but yeah overall really good um thanks to fort lee obviously all the staff involved um yeah really good facilities and stuff yeah i recommend it really good head of fish always good for a bite so yeah get on down so i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to hit the like button also subscribe to the prologic youtube channel and if you don't want to miss any future updates hit the bell button as well thanks for watching